Evolutionary psychology focuses on how genes and behaviours have adapted over thousands of years. For example, through the theory of natural selection, only the individuals of a species with the most suitable characteristics and behaviours survive and therefore reproduce. They then pass these successful characteristics onto the next generation, causing the species to gradually adapt to best fit the environment. This is often called survival of the fittest. Another concept is sexual selection. This is similar to natural selection, as the individuals of a species are more likely to reproduce and pass on their genes. However, it's not because their characteristics are best suited to survival, but rather best suited to reproduction. For example, a peacock's tail makes them an easy target for predators, but it also makes them more attractive to a mate, so they're more likely to reproduce anyway. The period in which evolutionary adaptation, such as natural selection and sexual selection, happen is called the environment of evolutionary adaptation. For humans, this is said to be approximately 10,000 years ago. This basically means there have been no major evolutionary changes to humans for 10,000 years. Because of this, evolutionary psychologists suggest the theory of genome lag. Genome lag is the idea that the environment changes much quicker than our genes can adapt through processes such as natural selection. This essentially means our genes, and therefore our characteristics and behaviours, are out of date. We can't keep up with how fast the world is changing around us. 10,000 years ago, aggression was a necessary behaviour to survive. Therefore, through natural selection, this behaviour was passed between generations. Aggression also plays a part in sexual selection, as it was a way of men keeping a mate and ensuring reproductive success. Therefore, evolutionary psychologists use genome lag to explain how aggression still exists today. Although the environment has changed rapidly and aggression is no longer needed for survival, our genes have not kept up with these changes, so such behaviours remain. Gendered behaviour can also be accounted for in a similar way. 10,000 years ago, certain characteristics were suited to survival and reproductive success. For example, men were strong, athletic and aggressive to successfully provide for their family, whilst women were nurturing to successfully raise their children. Through genome lag, evolutionary psychologists suggest that despite significant changes in society around gender roles, our genes have not kept up with these changes, so such behaviours remain.